The agony in the garden. The second sorrowful mystery, the scorching at the pillar. Thank you. 
The third sorrowful mystery, the, scr the scorching at the pillar, the crowning with dough. The fourth sorrowful mystery, the carrying of the cross. Our Father.
the fifth sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, now, and shall be all the time. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead our souls into heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, for perish to the Lord. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping this valley of tears. Turn thy most gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruits of your dying Jesus. Pray for us, sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. Has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant her this liberty, the entail of our mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary. We may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. The memory, remember, O Most Gracious Virgin Mary. Implore thy help, was sought the intercession, was left it unaided, inspired with this confidence. I fly unto you, O virgins and virgins, my mother. To you do I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O mother of the word incarnate, despite all my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Prayer to St. Michael, St. Michael the Archangel. Be our defense against the wicked and the snares of the devil. May God be with you, we humbly pray, and to God, our Prince of Heavenly Host, by the power of God, guess 
City Health City and other other spirits who troubled the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus. Most sacred heart of Jesus. Most sacred heart of Jesus. Mary, the Queen of the Holy Rosary, Saint Joseph, Saint Faustina, Saint Anna, may the divine assistant always remain with us, and may the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit.
Good morning. Please stand. We pray together the prayer of transition. Heavenly, Heavenly Father, Father, we thank, thank you for gathering us together, together and calling us to serve as your disciples. disciples. You have charged us through your Son, Jesus, and his shepherd, with great mission of evangelizing and witnessing your love to the world. Send your Holy Spirit to guide us as we discern your will for the spiritual renewal of our parish community. Give us strength, courage, and clear vision as we use our gifts to serve you. We entrust our parish families to the care of Mary, our mother, and ask for her intercession and guidance as we strive to bear witness to the gospel, celebrating the qualities of each faith-filled community and together building an engaging parish. Amen. Also join me in prayer to Mary for protection from coronavirus. O oh Mary, you shine continuously in our journey as a sign of salvation and hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, at the foot of the cross, you participate in Jesus' pain with steadfast faith, you salvation of the Roman people, know what we need. We are certain that you will provide so that, that as you, as you did, did at Cana of Galilee, joy and fasting might return, return after, after this moment of trial. Of trial. Help, Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to comfort ourselves to the Father's will and to do what Jesus tells us. He who took our sufferings upon himself and bore our sorrows to bring us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection, we, we seek refuge, refuge under your protection. O oh, Holy Mother of God, do not despise our pleas. We who are put to the test and deliver us from every danger and glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The peace of our world Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Trust in God's mercy as we say, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sin and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who found all the commands of your secret law upon love of you and of our one neighbor, grant that by keeping your precept we may marry to attain eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
A reading from the book of the prophet Haggai. In the second year of King Darius, on the 21st day of the seventh month, the word of the Lord came through the prophet Haggai. Tell this to the governor of Judah, Zerub, Zerubbabel, son of Shealtai, and to the high priest Joshua, son of Jehozadak, and to the remnant of the, of the people. Who is left among you that saw this house in its former glory? And how do you see it now? Does it not seem like nothing in your eyes? But now take courage. Zerubbabel says to the Lord, and take courage. Joshua, high priest, son of Jehozadak, and take courage, all you people of the land, says the Lord, and work. For I am with you, says the Lord of hosts. This is the pact that I made with you when you came out of Egypt, and my spirit continues in your midst. Do not fear, for thus says the Lord of hosts, one moment yet, a little while, and I will, make the I will shake the heavens and the earth, the sea and the dry land. I will shake all the nations, and the treasures of all the nations will come in. And I will fill this house with glory, says the Lord of hosts. Mine is the silver, and mine is the gold, says the Lord of hosts. The greater will be the future glory of this house than the former, says the Lord of hosts. And in this place, I will give you peace, says the Lord of hosts. The word of the Lord. I be to God. Our responsorial. Hope in God, I will praise him, my Savior and my God. Hope in God, I will praise you, my Savior and my God. Do me justice, O God and fight my fight against the uh, faithless people. From a dece deceitful and impious man, rescue me. Hope in God, I will, I will praise him, him, my Savior and my God. For you, O God, are my strength. Why do you keep me so far away? Why must I go about in mourning with the enemy oppressing me? Hope in God. I will praise him, my Savior and my God. Send forth your light and your fidelity. They shall lead me on and bring me to your holy mountain, to your dwelling place. Hope in, Hope in God, God, I will, I will praise, praise him, him, my Savior and my God. God. Then I will go to the altar of God, the God of my gladness and joy. Then I will give you thanks upon the harp, O oh God, my God, hope, hope in, God, in God, I, I will praise him, him my, my Savior, Savior and my God. God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The Son of Man came to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you, them. and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, you, O Lord. Once when Jesus was praying in solitude, and the disciples were with him, he asked them, Who do the crowd say that I am? They said in reply, John the Baptist, author Elisha, still author, once of the ancient prophets have a reason. Then he said to them, But who do you say that I am? Peter said in reply, The Christ of God. He rebuked them uh, and directed them not to tell this to anyone. Um, he said, the sons of men must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, 
and the scribe, and be killed, and on the first day be raised. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I welcome you here on the 25th week of the Ordinary Tama, and Father Jose is supposed to be helping me for this Mass, but he had to take his car to the Tri-City last night and will come back tonight, so he's not able to do this Mass. And so I have to be quick for this Mass and then run over to visitation for the 9 uh, o'clock Mass over there. So my homily will be very short today. First, in the first reading, you know, Prophet Hagar mentioned, and you know about prophets, God always, always speak to us in different ways. And one of the ways powerfully that through the prophets, and the prophets can tell us what God really wants us and the direction what to do. Don't worry and all the stuff that God will take care of us. And then the second reading that we hear today, the gospel again, Jesus in the gospel of Luke, yet also asks the disciple what the crowd say that I am. And again, Peter makes the profession of faith. You are Christ of God. And he professed in God his faith. And yes, later on, you know that Jesus revealed the two. And not only for Peter, the apostle, for many of us too. The two is he will be suffered, he will die, he will raise up again in first day. And that is the truth. For many of us to being Christian get caught in our vocation, suffering is the reality in us. But every one of us know we do not want to suffer, like work hard or all the things we rather than work smarter rather than harder, you know. And that's how we Americans want to read some direction, something easy, something get all. But the reality being a Christian that suffer is a part of our life. And yes, God called us and also in his own life that he set before us. And yes, all the day we have. And if we, that too, with all the saints that we honor in each day and their story, they accept, they accept the suffering, they accept the challenge, and yet that they can see the glory of the cross, and they can see being a Christian is so powerful, be a part of Christ. In receiving the sacrament, sharing the word of God. So at this time, I ask you, please stand up to pray and ask God bless upon our prayer as we say them. For the leaders of Christ's church, <clears throat> who humbly serve with wisdom and compassion, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, and be our prayer. For nations torn apart by war and civil unrest, and who seek peaceful alternative to violence, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, and be our prayer. For judges, advocates, and civil servants who uphold the rights of the poor, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, and hear our prayer. For young people who hunger and thirst for justice, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, and hear our prayer. For the members of this assembly who find joy in God's commandments and peace in God's presence, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, and hear our prayer. For all those who have died, Joseph Chong and Pham Nguyen, that they may enjoy the fullness of God's heavenly glory, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, and hear our prayer. For the repose of the soul of Wanu Naufa'u and Albert Matei, Jr., 
for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We now offer our personal intentions. For these and all the prayers that are entered into our book of prayer and those that are held in our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask you to place upon the prayer we present to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, food of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. May the water and wine become the divinity and humanity of Christ who bless upon us. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wise we offer you, food of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, receive my sacrifice in human heart. Lord, watch away my nukati and clean me from my sins. Pray now that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the, for the praise, praise and glory of his name, for all good and good of all his holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people that what they profess with devotions and faith may be there through these heavenly mysteries. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you make all things, whom you send as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and bones of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands at the end of red, he passed so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice. We acclaim Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son in the highest. You are in this holy, O Lord, the forms of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending thou your spirits upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and flesh of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his person, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this off of you and eat of it, for this is my body, 
which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poor for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have helped us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that for taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread through all the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Paul, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That's with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you for the age. We may marry to be co-heir to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the same command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who are in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread and, and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, races, leader, and peace in our day that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
for the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to you of also peace, I leave you my peace. I give you look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church and graciously grants her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer his author the desire of peace and love. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, my Jesus, Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, 
those you renew with the sacrament that we may come to possess your redemption both in mysteries and in the manner of our life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. There is a place for the sadness. I have to go to visitation. Oh,